Hey guys. Me Rob from Boston. How are ya? Gotta get used to this camera. It's like on the uh, opposite side. Um, yeah, I just wanted to um, answer two threads in one. Uh, I haven't been doing threads and I apologize. First off, let me just say hi to everyone. Hi everyone in the vinyl community. I hope your year is going good so far. Um, yeah, I just got back. I had to get a haircut and I just got back from the store and um, I went up the mall and I got a haircut and I just went... I, when I was up there, a uh, fellow vinyl community member was saying to check Hot Topic. Um, Holly Walnuts was saying to check Hot Topic, so I ran in there and they didn't have any vinyl. Um, so what I did was I went into the record store there, I had to change, return something, and I saw Derek's thread. And he mentioned, uh, what's your first purchase of 2012? So I thought I'd answer it. This is a purchase. Um, I feel uh, I can enter this because I returned it. I got home and I blaked it naturally. But I returned this, and it's uh, between the buried and me, the great misdirect, it was skipping. The uh, orange vinyl was messed up, so I, they had another copy, and I really dig this band. And um, I just wanted to go up and return it, so I did. And this is the orange vinyl. I love uh, colored vinyl, naturally, but I, I, I like this band. I first heard the, the song Colors, and I really enjoyed it. So I went out and bought this. And this has, the whole thing's really good. Actually, I first heard of this band from Record Store Day when I got their first album. Um, I don't know where it is. Never mind. Um, and I, when I was up there, I also bought the Pixies, the best of. So that would be, it's called Wave of Mutilation. And uh, I blaked it. And I just bought the Neaters. Um, this is the Mita's debut album, one that I didn't have in my collection and I wanted to get. So, that was that. And the other day I picked up, um, this was at year end. I was talking to Big Star Fred, uh, Big Star 1000, about this Sonic Youth box after I bought it, Daydream Nation. It's got four LPs, and I haven't even got a chance to open it. It's got four LPs and it's got, um... Previously unreleased uh, Daydream Nation live action bonus tribute tracks and everything. It's it's nice, and I paid a pretty good price for it. So Derek, I appreciate you um, starting your first thread. I'm glad I could jump on it right away. I haven't been keeping up with threads, and I apologize for that. Secondly, I think I'd like to answer Jeff's thread too. So we'll get both Omaha. Uh, Nebraskians done in one shot. Um, Jeff was saying he wanted us to show some of our more collectible vinyls, so I thought I'd do so. Um, now, I just wanted to state right off the bat that, um, and this may come across as being crass or uh, sound like I'm an old fart, uh, I'm an old grouch or something, but. Uh, I don't buy records, search for records for value, per se, money. I, I buy records purely for the uh, entertainment value, but I do look for records that are collectible. So if I do find one that's cool, like that soft machine, one I found er earlier in the year, um, like this, I mean, I found this and a bunch of others the first pressing on Probe Records, I found that in someone's garbage. They were throwing it away. So that's the first one with the wheel and all. So stuff like that. I mean, if I could find that or find it at a yard sale or whatever, I'll grab it naturally. But I just thought I'd show a few of mine that mean something to me more than anything. I was going to show, I'm going to end up showing a lot of my Zeppelin vinyl, but I figured I'd show a few that I have here, and I'm going to show the rest of my Zeppelin bootleg collection, too. But this is uh, one called In the Light that came out um, years and years and years ago. Um, this one came with this single 
inside called Opium. Here's the back. And it's a BBC recording. And the single was cool. It came with a single inside, a 7 inch. Morphine uh, in liquor, something, opium, and that's what it was called, I guess. And you know, it's a. It says special mixes on it. I don't know why, but. Could even tell you. So, it says 80s medley. So, this, this I picked up. I thought it was the 70s I picked this up, but if I'm. It might have been in the 80s I got it. So, which tells me this might have been pressed again, because I thought it first came out in the 70s, but it might have been the 80s. But it's, uh, you know, that early BBC pressing, and it came with this single in it. Uh, secondly, uh, Jan, 68 Baz Jazz, I hope I'm not messing his name up, which I always do, 68, 68 Baz Jazz, like I said, Jan, he inspired me to show my two Smiths, this is uh, uh, Shoplifters of the World in How Soon Is Now, and Jimmy Olaf Swab showed this too. One has the purple, they're both German pressings, and the other one came in a green swirl vinyl. So these are very, very nice Smith's pieces to have. Those mean a lot to me. Also, I have this copy of Michael Jackson. Um, it's called History in the Mix, and it was a very rare release because... I don't know if it was very short pressed, but it was a it was a whole album, and it was the history. I think he did the history album, yeah. Historical remixes um, for oh, Blood on the Dance Floor, and it just became a true collectible. And I only paid um, at the time fourteen ninety nine for it, so whatever. Um, and I also wanted to show this Michael Jackson. This was one I got at a record store called Quincy Records in the eighties, I believe. And it was, uh, I never opened it. Um, still sealed, and I put this plastic wrap over it. It's still sealed. Uh, it was one that came out with E.T. So you can see him right there with E.T. The movie, it's kind of, reflections kind of stinks. I can't blake this one naturally because it's so thick, but. And this was just a box set that came out, and I guess it got taken off once it got pressed because. Either he wasn't happy with the pressing or the record company wasn't happy, but it's like a box type thing and it's got a collectibles inside it, you know, a vinyl record and poster and what have you. So that was kind of neat. And uh, recently I got this Ramones that means a lot to me. I'd like to show all the vinyl that means a lot to me, but this was one I got at Record Store Day and they made a thousand of them. Um, some people may not think it's, this was last year's record store day, two years ago, I'm sorry. And it's a double, and it came out in this um, half blue, half green vinyl of Ramon's Mania, so that was kind of nice. And lastly, I thought I would show Morrissey pressing of um, another one that means a lot to me. This was a special promotional Morrissey 10 inch on his master's voice. And it was a DJ copy. Um, it's a very weird gray printing on it, but if you look close, it says Pop DJ on it. That's how they made their things. And it was, uh, we hate it when our friends become successful. Very, very rare on the His Master's Voice uh, sleeve, 10 inch record. So that was cool, a nice find. I had another one too for, um, uh, uh, you're the one for me fatty and I sold it and I should have never sold it bad me anyways I'm already on nine minutes so I hope you enjoyed it thank you Derek and thank you Jeff for um, giving us the threads to answer and I hope uh, oh let me mention real quick because um, I don't want to forget again uh, Punk Texas John is doing that record sleeves um, compilation video or you know, it's a poster compilation video he's going to do, show everybody's record collection. So please get your, uh, uh, please get your entries, uh, photos sent to John, you know. Um, we put your name in it, uh, you can be in the photos, like uh, other Vinyl Community members have stated, they have talked about it. But please support Punk Texas, uh, trying to make this thing, uh, go, um, 
get off the ground. I think it's a great idea. So thanks everyone. I'm watching all your videos. I'll see you all soon. Have a great week, weekend. Bye-bye.